Namaste everyone. Today we are going to discuss about something very, very important and that is the aspect. Specifically, this video is regarding the aspect of Mars and Saturn. The outer planets which fall after uh, Sun, after Earth in the belt of the zodiac, specifically Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, they have three aspects. Every planet aspect on the seventh house, but other than the aspect over the seventh house, Saturn also aspects the third house and the 10th house, whereas Mars along with the seventh aspect also aspects the fourth house and the eighth house. This, these are known as Vishesha Drishti, a special aspect. Now for these planets who have a special aspect, classics opine that the major aspect, the prime aspect, which is on the seventh house, the general aspect is not that effective. So this is the first point that you should note that for Saturn, seventh aspect is not that prominent as the third and the tenth aspect. Whereas for Mars, the seventh aspect is not that prominent as compared to the fourth and the eighth aspect. <clears throat> there is one thing that is very certain before we understand this. Thing. This is the set of houses. Coming to Saturn, Saturn aspect the third house and the 10th house from his placement. Now both these houses, third house and 10th house, these houses are Upchaya. Upchaya means increasing, Upchaya means increasing and classics opine that Upchaya is the house that is a pediatrician, something which does not give you pain. So actually to say the Situ the aspect of Saturn is a blessing only, right? Because wherever Saturn aspects, because these aspects are only in the Upchaya houses, the planet which Saturn is aspecting, the house which Saturn is aspecting, significations related to that planet and significations related to those houses increase. Now the point is natural malefic planets are malefics because whatever they signify, maximum of their significations are considered as bad qualities to have. For example, Mars indicates aggression, hasty decision, not listening to people, being a lot of rational, not believing, changing your dharma, all these things Mars indicate and as per the laws of dharma, as per the common accepted notion and also as per the standards of society, these are qualities which are considered negative. This is the basic reason why Mars is considered a malefic and same is the case with all other planets as well. The first thing that you have to keep in mind that because the aspect of Saturn have the increasing influence, if this aspect is over good planets, if this aspect is over lord of good houses, then good things will increase and this is good only. The increase, the result, whichever I am telling is specifically realized in the Dashantar Dasha of Saturn can also be realized with the maturity of Saturn that happens at the age of 32, 36 and 43 and is also realized with the auspicious and beneficial transit of Saturn. This is the standard rule of timing events which we should not ignore. Right. So when the aspect of Saturn, the third and the tenth aspect is over good planet, auspicious, auspicious result increase. Now, suppose this is a very general question. Sir, a planet is natural malefic, but functional benefic. Planet is functional malefic, but natural benefic, sir, what will happen? The significations of the planet are not contradictory at all. For an example, Mars is the ninth house slot. Ninth house indicate luck. If it is under the third aspect of Saturn, luck will also increase, anger will also increase. Anger and luck are not contradictory. Who is telling you that angry people are not lucky or lucky people are not angry? Right? So this confusion or dilemma should be rested forever. <coughs> Sorry. Right? So this is the first point. Whereas if the Saturn is influencing malefics, 
natural malefics or functional malefics, then it tends to increase that, which is not. So if Saturn is influencing the 12th Lord, it will rather increase the losses. Influencing the 6th Lord will increase the diseases, etc. Right? This is not good at all. This is the first point that we have to understand regarding the aspect. Now, another point is, third house indicate struggle, hardship, loss of uh, efforts, not getting what you deserve, etc. These are also the significations of Saturn and these significations are attached to Saturn because he have this particular aspect on the third house. It is not the case that because Saturn signify these things, he have an aspect over third house. No, Saturn aspect, the third house is an astronomical factor. Exaltation, debilitation of planet is also based on an astronomical factor, which my students know very well. Right. Other, so even teachers don't know that is another scenario, not commenting on to that. So third house indicates struggle, hardship, loss of effort, etc. And whichever house is getting the third aspect of Saturn, these things are seen there. To get the result of that particular house, you have to, I'm talking of third aspect. To get the result of that house, you have to take help of someone. Your efforts related to that house will be wasted. Or the person who is signified by that house will not recognize your, uh, will not recognize your contribution or help towards them. To get the result of that house, you have to wait for long. The result of that house needs a lot of patience. To work into that house <clears throat> demands a lot of courage. One have to take many pains specifically related to travel to get the result of that particular house. For example, say the third aspect of Saturn is over the fifth house. So for the completion of education, one have to struggle much. One have to take help of others for the completion of education. And to get the education, there have to be a lot of travels. Instability is also signified by the third aspect of Saturn. <clears throat> These attributes go to that house where the third aspect of Saturn falls. This is something that have to be taken into consideration. You need utmost courage, patience, should be ready to accept that if I am doing 100% related to that house, I will only get 60% of the result related to that particular house and relate or related to that particular planet whom the Saturn is aspecting. Specifically, the result of the Saturn's aspect over the third house is felt at the age of 16, at the age of 26, and at the age of 28. In these three ages, around these three ages, the result of the third aspect of Saturn is most prominent. And after crossing these particular ages in one's life, the result in which one was struggling earlier, the struggle is removed and new struggles, new challenges come up. Also, the third aspect of Saturn indicates unnecessary obstacles which the person have to cross by uses of intellect and should implement ideas to come over these issues. And added to this, the third aspect of Saturn also signifies that in this particular house, regarding this particular house, one will first do many mistakes. And after that, some godfather kind of a person will come to life. One certain experience will happen, which will change the way one looks at the situation. And this change in thought, mentality, and emotion will be the harbinger of success related to the things signified by that house or the planet, which comes under the third aspect of Saturn. The third aspect of Saturn is difficult to achieve, gives you insecurity, tension, troubles, mental issues. And this particular thing, 
which is signified by the house or planet which falls under the third aspect of saturn is the area which keeps on bugging your mind sits into your subconscious mind and when not tackled properly can give you sleepless nights as well coming to the 10th aspect of saturn it indicates growth prosperity happiness but this planet is very good whoever comes under the 10th aspect of saturn this planet is very good this house is very good all the auspices and beneficence that one can imagine gives is given by the 10th aspect of saturn specifically huge growth and betterment is witnessed with respect to this house but always remember it indicates growth and if 6th 8th or 12th lord or malefics are there then this growth is not that you know what not not that good not that great it is not something that we will welcome other than this the 10th aspect of saturn one gets famous for that particular plan for the significations of that planet who is getting the 10th aspect of saturn one gets the maximum improvement maximum advancement or rather say one is in the profession or one or other element of the planet whichever is in the 10th from saturn one or other element of that planet is present in the profession of the native great success happens regarding that particular planet and the traits of that particular planet are the key traits of the personality which the native should have in their personality for betterment and success in life specifically the whichever planet or house gets the 10th aspect of saturn you should protect that particular house this house signifies something which people are jealous of and want to snatch from you plot against you to get these things which are represented by the 10th aspect of saturn and regarding these areas you have to be very very careful the activation happens at the age of 28 happens at the age of 25 and happens at the age of 42 at these three ages around these three times in one's life the effect of this is seen you know that rise that gain of power gain of status gain of position which this planet is getting is speci- specifically reflected in the life of the native at these particular times at these particular ages that i have just mentioned saturn will do anything to save the planet which is in 10th from him and if the result of the planet is going to get bad the first hit saturn will take recently one of my student have applied it to a class discussion and you know in one video i told if you are going to get bad results of ketu venus will get impacted so the student have applied it into a chart interpretation and his application was very very good so it is something like you say if venus is situated in 10th to saturn then before the break of marriage loss of job loss of prestige loss of owner will happen employees will revolt against you or there can be a false allegation on you just by that false allegation or bad professional time you should be able to judge that there is going to be a problem related to my marriage equal prosperity happiness etc and venus is in problem that's why saturn is facing the problem so do the remedy for venus as soon as possible before it gets too late right that is the basic concept the 10th aspect of saturn is very auspicious however you have to keep yourself under control and do not hurry up in getting the results of that house or the planet which is in 10th to saturn otherwise this approach of getting things as quickly as possible can actually be very difficult and will actually make you have only the 60% of the result as compared to what you must have got when you have tackled this particular area of your life with patience with thoughtful thinking etc the specific point is 
द प्लेनेट विच इज इन टेंथ टू सैटर्न वन कैन गेट फॉल्स एलिगेशन रिलेटेड टू दैट प्लेनेट पीपल आर जनरली जेलस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वालिटी एंड द थिंग इज विच एवर प्लेनेट इज इन टेंथ टू सैटर्न द रिलेटिव सिग्निफाइड बाय दैट प्लेनेट इज जनरली अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी over your shoulders is generally a bad asset in your life and through these relatives you will have to land into many untoward or bad situations this have to be taken into consideration overall the 10th aspect of saturn is very auspicious and very good however it have some shortcomings as well and from saturn is the blessing that you have got by your devotion and the worship of deities in the previous life and in this particular life you just have to relish it coming to mars mars have the fourth aspect and eighth aspect and these houses are chaturastra what does chaturastra means chaturastra according to me this is a tajik word this is a persian word this is not a sanskrit word by the way many sanskrit scholars who have recently learned sanskrit with the advent of google translate may not be able to identify this however chaturastra is a persian word which according to me is means kendra or similar to kendra lower level of kendra is something you say you know this is like uh it gives you but it also take things from you chaturastra is something that needs to be protected that needs to be preserved and you have to make many sacrifices to have this thing this is with both the aspect of mars fourth aspect and eighth aspect also this thing this planet this house whichever is in fourth or eighth to saturn is your biggest asset but that asset comes with a great sacrifice for example you say mars is situated in the third house eighth aspect on the 10th house now your profession can become your biggest asset your profession can give you everything can give you marriage can give you relationship you know for everyone profession gives money but it can give you name prestige owner money wife everything but for that you have to sacrifice now because it is in the third house right so you see the house where mars is situated in to actually find what you have to sacrifice so because mars is in the third house aspecting the 10th house you have to sacrifice the relationship with your siblings if you are living with your siblings you have to separate and only after that you will be able to feel that result you will be able to find that result right so fourth and eighth from mars is the is those houses those planets which can bless you with everything but you will have to make a sacrifice related to mars related to the sign of mars related to the house of mars and related to the planet who is conjoined with mars specifically fourth house is nurturing the planet the house which is in fourth from mars is that asset that gives you everything from wealth to happiness to prosperity to calmness to peace of mind it gives you everything provided the fact that you nourish it and do not compromise in this area for example you say venus gets the fourth aspect of mars your wife can also earn for you can give you ideas using which you can make money will give you happiness prosperity peace of mind everything your wife will give you but in turn what you have to do is protect her and support her under any circumstances this is what the fourth aspect of mars does that is the first thing another thing is whichever planet gets the fourth aspect of mars it is very fortunate that any planet is getting the fourth aspect of mars that planet is a key planet because it can provide you with everything all the happiness prosperity stability mental peace and everything because this planet can give you it is better that you wear the clothes which are represented by the color of that planet you wear the gemstone of that planet and try to make yourself as much like 
as much as you can like the planet which gets the fourth aspect of mars and this is very fortunate and very great this is your door to fortune which you must protect under any situation and then this will become a culprit a wish fulfilling tree that will give you every everything but also remind also remember that the sacrifice which you have to be have to be great always remember one thing the glory is equal to the might of sacrifice right so whatever you give the same intensity is uh, reciprocated when you get the results out of that right so this is the basic point now coming to the eighth house eighth aspect of mars chaturastra also means dhokha hmm chaturastra also means cheating so this planet which is getting the eighth aspect of mars will deceive you can cheat you this is the area where you have to very careful like a soldier when he is in the battlefield he have to have 10 eyes in all the 10 directions he cannot ignore even a simple face so you have to be very careful about the planet and you have to make sure no negative development happens Puns based on this planet. For an example, Saturn is the significator of cleanliness, and when you start living dirty, Saturn gets bad. And you know what? This six eight, because a planet is in is having eighth aspect of Mars, it naturally means that from the planet which is getting the eighth aspect of Mars, Mars is in sixth place. Sixth indicate upchaya. So the planet which is in eight grows over you. right because for the planet in eight you are the first upchaya sixth first upchaya is not third first upchaya is sixth if first upchaya is sixth if you think third is the first upchaya namaskar to your knowledge cannot debate sixth is the first upchaya this is the first place where the planet will grow now because the planet is getting the eighth aspect it will grow over mars and you have to be very careful about this planet you have to make sure that everything related to this planet is getting taken care of in the best possible way otherwise this will be the reason of the death of mars this will be the reason of death for the things which is represented by mars in your horoscope and this will be extremely bad for you your health your prosperity your happiness and everything good that you are having in your life you have to be extremely careful and extremely critical about this planet have to take care of his it is like a bomb that you have in your pocket you always have to take care that it is in the right condition otherwise you know it is not a gun it is a bomb right so you got to be careful about it this planet is someone who have the power to win over you the people the type of people represented by this planet you better avoid them don't fight with them better respect them treat them with care otherwise this can be a major issue the third house from mars the sorry the fourth aspect of mars the result of fourth aspect of mars is activated at the age of 16 at the age of 22 at the age of 28 the result of the eighth aspect of mars is realized at the age of 28 at the age of 42 <clears throat> at these two ages and the dasha antar dasha and the transit principle that i have told you earlier also activates these particular result so whenever you are going to read a horoscope you have to keep these things in mind third aspect of saturn hard work needed loss of effort will happen have some patience growth will be there tenth aspect of saturn high prosperity you are blessed regarded you are blessed regarding the significations of that planet don't worry take it easy fourth aspect of mars respect this planet stand for this planet take care of this planet you will get everything that you want in life eighth aspect of mars be careful of this planet if there is any negative development regarding the signification of this planet 
then you will be in a danger your horoscope will be in a danger make sure to make sure to have it in a good shape have it in a good condition avoid every error related to this planet whatever comes to your mind to get rid of the third aspect of saturn the best remedy is to light a lamp in the southern direction facing facing the the lamp in the south of your home kept in south in your home facing the southern direction the oil should be of lamp and should be dedicated to the god of evening godhuli mother godhuli is what you can refer her to the for the 10th uh, for the 10th house 10th aspect of saturn you need not do any remedy as such but still if you want to do a remedy for the 10th aspect of saturn there are processions there are processions or there are yatras travels for a dt right in in north india there is this kavad that happens in shivarat in in shravan mas in uh, sikhism also there is prabhat feri pulling the chariot of lord krishna going to pandharpur in maharashtra so this taking part in the travel of god or travel done for god is the remedy for the 10th aspect of saturn for the aspect of mars <clears throat> the remedy comes from donating the essentials so you go to a temple you go to a person talk to them and find out what they want the most then gift them that particular thing that they want the most this is the remedy for the fourth aspect of mars which actually does not really need a remedy the eighth aspect of mars you know what in every cremation ground there is a temple that temple is generally dedicated to shiva so you can visit that particular temple which is in a cremation ground that will serve as a remedy for the eighth aspect of mars but make sure that there are many people who are prohibited to visit the temples which is in a cremation ground specifically married women should not visit the temple which is in cremation ground otherwise their marriage will not survive so in that particular scenario what you can do is you can donate money to institutions who are looking for uh, who are looking for who are looking after the bodies which are not claimed or you can donate money to those people those institutions who are working with the dead disposing the dead taking care of the dead taking care of the people who are about to die etc this is what can be done to remedy these negative planetary influences i hope you liked the video thank you for watching it namaste